Hi, this is Bonnie with um, Des um, Live In Your World and the design team member. And um, you have already seen one of our design team members color up Astrid. Um, she has a Lavinia stamp and um, it's LAV618. And she really is a gorgeous stamp, which um, I've shared with you before when I got her in, in my, um, when I ordered her. But anyway, I wanted again to tell you, she really is roughly almost six inches long and, and she is about mm, three and a quarter inches. Um, wide. At any rate, today what I wanted to do is I want to make a frame around her and mine is going to be a little bit different than Amanda's um, because I am going to make mine more Halloween oriented. So um, I pulled out the acrylic because I wanted to get an idea about where she's at because I am going to be doing alcohol ink around her but then what I'm going to do is I am going to um, scan this and make my own paper. So I wanted to have the placement so that I knew that when I went to go to color her skin, it wouldn't be affected by the alcohol ink. So to get started, I am gonna I picked out three different um, alcohol inks, and one of them is Pebble, another one is Pink Sherbert, and then the other one is um, Citrus. And I'm also going to be using the alcohol blending solution and, I'm, and I also have a little bit of um, alcohol that's 91% alcohol and then I went ahead and pulled out my two um, blending tools. So, and this is a Upo paper and this one happens to be transparent but it just happened to be the right size so that's why I'm using it. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the first one I'm gonna use is the pebble and again, I'm keeping this in mind where she's at and I wanna keep this above her. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some of this. And what I kinda of like about the pebble is it tends to um, turn different colors. Um, if you can, as you're starting to see what I'm doing, you can see the colors change. It's really pretty. You wouldn't think because it's a brown that it would be all that pretty, but this pebble is really a gorgeous color. So let's go ahead and put her down again and make sure, yep, we're doing pretty good. Let's add one more. And then we're gonna add a little bit of, and you can see this um, color actually even has pink in it. So it's, it's really a gorgeous color. This one again is um, pink sherbet. I haven't used this one yet. It's a new one. And I think this one's kind of pretty. Now just putting this on the um, UPO paper, it is kind of pretty just all by itself, but you can see, look up here, how this is mixing. This one's mixing with it and starting to turn that blue color. So this is just kind of fun just to see what it does just all by itself. And this is citrus. And this is also a subtle color, which I kind of like too. So this one's gonna give us a little bit of, of dra drama, I think. It's a little bit darker than everything we are using so far. Okay. So we've got that all going. So now that something to remember is when you use alcohol, um, the alcohol kind of like takes away and uh, the blending solution does not. So watch what happens when I just add just a tiny bit of alcohol. Can you see that reaction? Not only that, but it's turning that pebble, if you can see that, it's turning that pebble into um, kind of like a blue aqua. It's really pretty. And I don't want too much on here because it gets a little bit, um, it get, I don't want to say it gets a little bit um, too runny. But it, this is just a really fun um, technique. Like I said, see how brown this is right here? Like I said, you would not think that pebble would change out to be this pretty blue. But it does. So when you play, you get to see all this fun stuff. 
And I'm not using very much of, of the alcohol either. Okay. So we're going to keep that at that for right now. Now I have two different blending tools. One I use for when I do the alcohol and one that I use when I use when I do the blending solution. So right now I'm just going to go in here and kind of like pick this up and if see if this brown some of the brown I don't really want. So I'm pushing that off onto my um, paper towel because I really don't want a lot of the brown. And um, I will be going back in here and adding some more color. But right now we're gonna stay with this. This is what happens, like I said, when you use the alcohol as opposed to the blending solution. It, like I said, it kind of like makes it lighter. Okay, so this dries up really quickly. So alcohol does. And so what I do is I take a little bit of the alcohol and I put it on top of my tool. And then I come back in and stamp away. And again, it's still gonna make it separate. But now I'm getting a little bit more of the little bubbles. Can you see that? Okay. And it kind of defining it for me. And again, it's gonna dry up rather quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit more alcohol on my tool. So one of the things about um, the alcohol ink is that I can make this whole thing and decide it's not what I want and I can start all over again and put a bunch of uh, ink on here and be a completely different design. But you can see the longer you hold this down, the more um, it will spread around. So you don't wanna keep it on for very long because um, that's what ends up happening. Okay. Now, like I said, you could just, that's pretty subtle and you could just end up with just that. And I'm gonna show you how that would look with her. You can see how some of it's still in her hair, but her face is fine. I think I could come over a little bit further um, to get more into her hair. But before I do that, I'm gonna finish this little bit off so that it's uniform, which it could change, because that's the, the name of this game. Um, it just kind of changes you. Um, it reacts to the alcohol and it reacts to the blending solution. Okay. So I'm gonna add just a few more dots, I think, like I said, into here. I'm using that as my, my sample, and I want a little bit more right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pebble, still my favorite, and I'm gonna just put a couple dots. Because you saw how far it spread. I'm gonna put her on again. Yeah, I'm gonna come down here, do a little bit more in her hair area. Okay. And then I'm gonna add just a few dots of the pink sherbet. and then a little bit of the citrus. Now you can see right now it is taking me about, whoops, there we go. This one comes out a little bit bigger. It takes me about 10 minutes just to accomplish this, this background, just the way that it is. I'm gonna take some of this up before I add more of the alcohol. Okay. It's really kind of fun. 
All right, I have a fair amount of alcohol right at the moment. sure I'm still doing okay with her face. I am. I know sometimes it's good to speed up the videos, but I think this is one of those videos where you really need to see how this goes. Now everybody has different techniques in how they do this. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more of the alcohol ink and then we'll do a little teeny tiny bit of the blending solution. Because the blending solution, unlike the alcohol ink, um, it keeps the color. It doesn't dilute the color, it keeps it. And I'll show you that in just a second. I just wanna get this to the point that I like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of blending solution. I'm gonna show you what the difference is between the two. Um, uh, this pad already had a little bit on before. I'm just putting a little bit on, and then I'm gonna come in here, and I'm just gonna lightly dab it, and you're gonna see um, a little bit of difference. It does take, see it takes, so, it takes a little bit of it away, but as you can see, it's making my, at the moment, it's kind of like making it so that it's not, as you can see down there, it's not, it's a little bit more spread apart. It takes a little bit of the brown out, and um, what the deal is, is that whenever you use um, the, it's kind of like, I think of it as a cell. Each of the little drops like is a little cell and the, around the end of the cell is always a little bit dark. And then the more this dries out, the more it makes smaller little itty bitty bubbles. Our little cells. Okay, there's just one spot that I can see I want to get at, and that's this spot down here. And that's how we're going to make that, that's what we're going to let that do. It's going to be it. Um, that's going to dry, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and take that to um, my scanner and I'm gonna scan that and I'm gonna use that. Instead of using this, I'm gonna um, scan it and then I'm gonna scan it to um, the express it and um, be able to stamp my image and then I'll be able to color her um, with um, Copic markers. So that's the plan. I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my paper printed onto the Express it, Express it paper, blending paper, and I have um, Astrid all set up to be stamped. Um, I haven't done some stamping like this for a bit in terms of using Memento ink, but I am going to be using a Memento um, Tuxedo Black because I am going to be coloring her skin with Copic, with the Copics. So let's see how this all stamps up with that. This should work out pretty good. I just haven't used this ink pad. I might have to open a new one if this one doesn't stamp really well. OK. 
Okay. Let's see. She's such a beautiful stamp. All right, let's see if she turned out okay. Nope, she needs a little bit more inking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. I have her stamped really well. And then the next one I'm going to stamp is the um, Bat Colony, and that is LAV558. And I am going to go ahead and still use, even though I'm not going to be using any Copics on this, I'm going to go ahead and still use the um, Tuxedo Black. Because I'm still stamping on the Express It, I guess. I wanted the bats because, like I said, I'm going with more of a Halloween type theme. And I thought the bats went really well with her hair. And you can see she stamped really well. And so did the bats. So we got that all set up. Okay, so um, I, like I said, I finished stamping her and she's all ready to color, but I decided because of how long it took me to make the background that I am going to make a, se a separate video um, showing, me how, showing you how I colored Astrid up. So um, I just want to say I'm going to um, have that done on the same day so you can watch that video um, today also, but it'll be a separate video so it won't be so long. So... Um, Again, I wanted to say thank you for stopping by, and please subscribe and share if you can. And um, just to remind you that um, the DT have um, cart or tutorials on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thank you so much.